Hello and welcome to another edition of City Talk. My name is Tim Shaw. I'm the Government Affairs Director here at the Pacific West Association of Realtors. Today's guest is the Mayor of La Habra, James Gomez. Hello, Tim. Mayor Gomez, thank you for being with My us. My pleasure to be here. So why don't you tell everybody, how long have you been on uh, the City Council? Oh, Tim, I was actually uh, first elected in 2002, and I'm entering my 14th year on the La Habra City Council. Congratulations on your recent appointment as mayor. Yes. And uh, you've been mayor uh, previously, correct? Yeah, I've been uh, mayor three times. Uh, very blessed uh, and honored that uh, overwhelming support from my colleagues on the City Council. Great. So, uh, Jim, I know the running joke in La Habra is that La Habra is a Spanish word that means land of no freeways. But uh, what, what does the La Habra actually mean? Uh, it actually means uh, through the hills. Um, and, uh, of course, we were incorporated in 1925. And uh, all roads lead to, La lead to La Habra, Tim, as you know. That's right. <laughs> what, what is the residential population? Of the we city? have approximately uh, 62,000 residents. And uh, it will probably be uh, peaking here in the next uh, couple of years uh, to probably 63,000, 64,000 soon. What can you tell us of some of the, of the unique features of La Habra? What's unique about La Habra? Well, you know, uh, La Habra, our motto is a caring community. And that is really uh, so. We have probably more nonprofits than any city, uh, than any city in Orange County, really. I mean, we have a HBIC Help for Brain Injured Children, the Gary Center, uh, Boys and Girls Club, uh, HBIC. There are just so many nonprofit organizations to help out people. Uh, also unique is we have a children's museum in La Habra and of course the world famous corn festival that people come to uh, every year. Uh, soon we'll be entering our 70th year of the corn festival. Yeah, that's for a little town there's, there's always a lot going on. There's always a lot of action. Seems like something's going on every month in La Habra. What can you tell us about the schools that are, that are in La Habra? Well, we have uh, three school districts uh, in La Habra. We have the La Habra City School District, we have the Lowell Joint School District, and our high schools is, are covered by the Fullerton Union High School District. Uh, Lowell Joint uh, High School District is uh, thriving, doing very, very well. Our high schools are, are doing well. In fact, yesterday, uh, La Habra High School was just recognized uh, for meeting uh, their goals and criteria for uh, two years in a row. So uh, Dr. Zenner, the principal, is over there, very, very proud. And uh, a lot going on also in La Habra City School District. Uh, I just uh, attended a, a big function uh, last week at one of our middle schools and they had a cosmetic convention going on there where all the kids created their own uh, cosmetic lines and they had uh, multimedia things to promote this with commercials and stuff. So our th schools are doing relatively well. Mayor Gomez, how about, uh, I know there's a big project underway for a new city hall building. Uh, and why, why was that necessary and what can well, if, if anybody's ever been to City Hall in La Habra, you'll find that it is really falling apart. I mean, you go in there, City Council Chambers, you have the same carpet. Uh, right now with El Nino, you'll be walking down the hallways, you'll see roof leaks going on. Basically, uh, not a whole lot of money has been spent on City Hall for, for, for years, and it's deteriorating and, and needs a lot of help. So um, the City Council got together and decided to have a consultant and... Um, did some studies and determined that there was a property that we could purchase across the street and actually move City Hall and sell our current City Hall location um, to a developer to build some housing project there. So uh, the bottom line is City Hall is going to move and uh, within a year, year and a half, we're going to have a brand new City Hall, uh, which will just be probably one of the state-of-the-art City Halls, something I'm sure our, our, um, our residents will be very proud of. And the important thing about it is, is very little funds will be used for this because the money that we're using for the development, selling this, uh, our current city hall, will be transferred over to the new city hall and very, very little uh, funds will be used. It's, it's almost a wa wash. Great. Now, I know the city has been spending uh, quite a bit of money actually on uh, repaving streets. And there's been this six-year pavement management plan that recently kind of wrapped up. So what, what can you tell us about that? How did that go? Well, you know, our streets are in very, very good condition prior to myself and, and some of my colleagues getting on the city council. Not a whole lot of money was spent on infrastructure. And um, the council got together and determined we need to start investing in our streets and our pavement. And uh, within a six-year uh, plan, uh, we turned around and spent a lot of money. I, I can't remember the exact dollar total. But uh, in getting all our streets repaired, in fact, now our residential streets, I think the, the current index is rated like 89, 
uh, percent for uh, the payment condition. It's vastly been improved. Uh, so we've, we've invested in our streets and we're very proud. In fact, people uh, kind of make the running joke is now you know when you go in La Habra. Now people before were um, concerned because the streets were falling apart. Now people are, are speeding through our community and now they want speed lumps and humps because uh, the streets are in such great condition. Right. So a victim of your own success. I yeah, guess, so. yeah. Y you mentioned uh, new housing going in, I guess, where the um, current City Hall building is. Can, can you tell us if there's other uh, new housing projects uh, underway in town? Yeah, you know, um, up there on Whittier Boulevard, the old uh, Don Steves, uh, home of Don Steves uh, uh, Auto Center, um, there is a new project going on there over, I think it's about 35 homes going to be built, built there. They're being built right now and that'll be coming on online here later this summer. It's a beautiful, beautiful project. Uh, we have some town homes uh, coming on board on La Habra Boulevard in Idaho, and we have a big upscale luxury um, apartments called the Fairfield Project at 951 South Beach Boulevard, and that is just something very, very beautiful that you would see like in South County, Newport Beach, just top rated um, development there. So really, La Habra is on the map. People want to come to La Habra. They want to build in La Habra. And people are coming to La Habra wanting to, to build projects. So we're very proud with all that's going on in housing right now. It's booming. <laughs> well, what can you, is there a message you'd like to share with uh, the realtors that, are, that might be uh, watching at home? Uh, anything? Well, certainly, I, I think uh, for first-time home buyers, uh, La Habra is a very affordable community to come into. Uh, and uh, and certainly come to La Habra, there's a lot of unique uh, experiences. It's really a great place to, to raise a family. I've, I was born and lived in La Habra my entire life, uh, as well as my son, and uh, La Habra is just, just a wonderful community. So I would encourage realtors, uh, when people are out looking for places to live, to certainly take La Habra into consideration. Mayor James Gomez, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.